Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ, and in this video, what I would like to do is do a weapon breakdown. So I think this might be the first of its kind. So I'm actually going to break down uh, the new uh, weapon for, that we got from the uh, first Dragon Quest uh, game, so the Dark Champion's Dragon Whip. So if you're looking at my party, you're going to see that right here, uh, my ranger is going to be equipped with this particular weapon. So this weapon is actually quite unique because it actually has a new skill that's been added to the game. So if you go to your notices section right over here, and then you're going to want to look in important notices and down right here in regards to... Um, skill classes for breath so breath is actually going to be a brand new skill it's going to be the fourth skill that's been added uh to the game so the regular skills are going to be like weapon damage physical technique damage and then spell damage so those are all going to be skills now breath has been added to this and for breath attack to determine its actual um damage or the power of its damage, it's actually going to be a combination of your attack power and also your dexterity. So that is going to be uh, what Breath is. So if you actually go and look at my ranger and her statuses, so right here at uh, regular attack, oh, that's not regular attack, that's a uh, magic attack, uh, right here, regular attack is going to be 822, while, uh, the dexterity 694 so that's actually not so bad i believe so uh, like i said so this is going to have various attacks uh, including breath attack which is going to be uh dragon lord's hellfires or duo's hellfire so that does massive gear breath damage to all enemies and uh, with this attack, you can actually uh, do Shadow Binds with it. So it is actually uh, very good. So what I want to do is actually go into battle and explain uh, not just um, the two main uh, abilities, but also all the abilities that they have for this particular weapon. So I'm going to go right into a battle. Uh, any battle will do. So just right here. Okay, so good, so my ranger is here. So the first uh, ability I wanna look at is going to be the uh, Dragon Uchi or Dragon Strike. So what this does, it is a strike that if, you're a, if your opponent is a dragon, it does 200% damage, physical technique damage, but for all other enemies, it does 130% uh, physical technique damage like this. So that was Dragon Strength, Dragon Uchi. Doesn't really do that much damage. Um, but going to the next part. Okay. So next, what we're going to have is going to be, oh, not right there, but right here. This is going to be the Spiral Strike. So what this does, we've seen it before. Um, the Superstar actually has this particular ability. So this one also does 180% uh, physical technique damage and has a chance to cause confusion like this Okay, did critical hit damage uh, did not do confusion uh, cat did not inflict confusion, but that's not a problem, but um, here we go to the next ability Okay, so the next ability that I want to go over is going to be a brand new one so this one uh, we've I don't think we've actually seen it in the game before. This is going to be the King Whip. So this actually only costs 7 MP, so that's actually quite low. But what it does is that it attacks all enemies for 120% physical technique damage, but it also uh, recovers a certain amount of MP like this. So with that there, I got 25 MP back. So that's pretty much a total of 18 that I actually did receive back. So um, this particular uh, skill can actually be very useful if you're actually going to be using or going through the, um, the continuous uh, 1v1 dungeon. So 
Um, though I actually somewhat prefer the uh, armamentalist strategy. Now going, trying to find another battle, but heal up first. Right here. So after King Whip, which is very, very nice ability, uh, we're going to have, um, it's going to be the Flash Dragon Attack. So with this one, it does 340% Gita uh, physical technique damage to one enemy. So like this. And that did very nice damage right there. Okay, so going to my next ability. Okay, and for the final ability is one that we've probably seen before on this channel already. So this is going to be uh, Dragon Lord's Hellfire. So looking at the explanation, so uh, with flames like with Hellfire like Dragon Lord, uh, this does Gita breath damage, massive Gita breath damage to all enemies. So like this. And like right there, you saw that I got a shadow bind down. So very, very unique ability, especially since um, breath uh, weapons or breath ten or breath attacks are something that we only seen through actual enemies and not actually our own characters. So this is going to be uh, exciting going forward. And I really don't need this soul. Now, I mentioned that this is going to be exciting going forward, uh, mainly for a couple of reasons. So, actually, if you go here, um, it's going to be exciting for one, souls. So, you're going to most likely going to see new souls that will actually have uh, a breath stat in it or a breath boost. So, uh, increase to breath damage, for example, some for some new souls then that's also going to be added into the soul pearls. So I don't know if they added something already uh, in terms of soul pearls where it actually does boost the damage of your breath attacks. Um, that's something I'm going to have to actually look into uh, later on, uh, but I won't do it in this particular video. So uh, yeah, so that was the weapon breakdown of uh, the Dark Champion's Dragon Whip. So this is actually a very nice weapon. I'm glad that I was able to get it. I wasn't able to get the armor, but um, the Baroque gear actually does work out pretty well for this particular uh, weapon. Also, what's good is actually having uh, the Dragon Lord Soul. So it does some very, it gives some very nice uh, stat boots to your HP, uh, your strength, and then also your agility and your uh, dexterity as well and the actual abilities like plus 10% to weapon and physical technique damage plus 5% to Gita and uh, meta damage and then every at the start of your turn you recover 3 MP so that's actually very nice um, and I actually had uh, the chance to actually or I've been lucky to actually get uh, three of these uh, particular souls so as you can see, I have this soul equipped on me, and then I have two other uh, S-grade uh, Dragon Lord uh, Mega Monster souls. So I'm still trying for one more, so I have a full, complete set of four. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to probably end this video here. The one thing that I can do as a little extra for this video is going into the event. So for the Dragon Quest 2 event, you're going to have um, this kind of lottery. So um, what you can do is you're going to get these little um, lottery tickets um, get scattered throughout the uh, map uh, by doing certain things. And um, you're always going to get like um, three of something, but um, it's going to be random. So I really want to get three suns in order to get this new accessory. So this is going to be uh, Heaven's Prayer or um, the uh, prayer ring. And it has gives you the ability called uh, Heaven's Prayer, 
which actually recovers 30 to 50 of your MP. So definitely something I would want to get. But um, for 10, very similar to uh, Fukubiki, uh, you could do a one draw which costs 10 or you can do 10 draw which actually costs 100 Fukubiki uh, or 100 uh, Kuchibiki tickets. So for example, tap on 10 and let's see what I get. I'm gonna get slime. Which gives me uh, pretty much gold and uh, some uh, sharpening stones. Try again. I really want that uh, accessory. Okay, again with the slime. And then I got a solo uh, Fugubiki, so I can actually use it like this. Slime though. <laughs> Slime again. Okay. So, actually, I'm going to try this just one last time. Hopefully, I can get this on. No, I got a heart. Which is going to give me some pearl points. Yeah, so pearl points and gold. Alright, so I'm actually just going to leave it at that. But, um... Yeah, so thank you for watching this video and my explanation of the Dark Champions Dragon Whip. So hopefully you enjoyed it and found it informative and learned a little bit more about uh, the new skill, so the breath skill. So uh, again, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.